At RICS, SD, we always believed in experiential learning. The students not only get exposed to the concepts what has been taught in the classroom, but they also should understand what is happening on the life. Mumbai has a range of infrastructure centers. You have a port, which is the biggest in the country in terms of container terminal, which we want to show them, the JNPT area. They have a hazardous waste landfill facility there, which again is one of the well done facilities in the country, which we want them to see that once. There are Mumbai Metro, which is being planned. Navi Mumbai is in the initial stages. So we, this will give them flavor of how projects are being developed, how they are configured at various stages, and how we, they can actually understand how the stakeholders who are implementing their mindset and how they are planning. So that is the intention of uh, the uh, program. The limitation for we to teach infrastructure in classroom is that classroom teaching can go only with the orientation of assessing past projects. But the projects which are live running today and the projects which are getting planned for the future we will not be able to capture inputs for those projects in classroom. I think there should be more interaction and uh, with the, the, the student, the faculty who is teaching the student and organization like us who are actually executing these projects because otherwise uh, you will get all classroom and textbook uh, training but when uh, it comes to application unless you have that exposure you won't be able to apply it effectively or you will have to again spend time to learn it so when these projects are happening uh, the students must get opportunity to get associated with that see what exactly whether whatever theoretical knowledge they have learned whether it is possible to apply it or it is applied in the same manner or there are some other learnings uh, on the ground so that interaction has to be there uh, that's what i feel and that is why i welcome these kinds of uh, study tours in fact we would like to take some intern interns also and who would uh, mm, if they want to learn as our project uh, move along we are encouraging uh, that kind of a thing I am very, really, very happy to be associated with your um, students, MBA students, and uh, their response was very encouraging, and they have take, shown very keen uh, interest in uh, getting the formation of the MSRDC project, and uh, I think uh, they are the, uh, they will be the management expert, and uh, the country needs such kind of uh, uh, people for uh, better management of the project and. Uh, implementation. I express my uh, best wishes to them. It was a very successful program. We showed them different aspects of infrastructure, various kinds of infrastructure, and it did meet the students' expectations beyond than what they had expected. Few of them had never been to uh, you know, these facilities ever, or maybe nearer to a port as well. So it was a lifetime experience for students. The learnings that they got on site are completely different from what you can see on a website because it's in a limited form of uh, dissemination. You hear you're meeting real people who are working on a real-time basis. So you get to learn from them directly. And it is completely different from actually working on an academic uh, you know, a platform. So this is completely practical experience which you get once you are a part of a particular project.